Hello. Uh, today, uh, we are going to be looking at not a word, but a phrase that's found in the New Testament in the book of Ephesians. Um, this is uh, another word that uh, someone asked if, uh, uh, you know, we could talk about. And so uh, I thought it's a really good one. It's a good little phrase. And uh, it's very uh, uh, exciting uh, when you understand it properly. And so the Bible says in Ephesians chapter 2, starting with verse 11, uh, and we're going to work our, our way down to it. But it says, Wherefore, remember that ye being in time past Gentiles in the flesh, who are called uncircumcision by that which is called the circumcision in the flesh made by hands. That at that time ye were without Christ, being aliens from the commonwealth of Israel, and strangers from the covenants of promise, having no hope, and without God in the world. But now in Christ Jesus, ye who were sometimes were afar off, are made nigh or near by the blood of Christ. For he is our peace, who hath made both one, and hath broken down the middle wall of partition between us, having abolished in his flesh the enmity, even the law of commandments contained in ordinances, for to make in himself of twain, or of two, one new man, so making peace." So the phrase that we're going to look at is found in verse number 14, and it's that phrase, wall of partition, the wall of partition. Um, and uh, the word partition, it speaks of a fence or a hedge. Uh, the Jewish historian Josephus, he wrote of the temple, and he said that in the temple courts, there was a partition or a wall that divided the court of the Gentiles from the court of Israel. And it had an inscription uh, forbidding a Gentile from going further. Uh, so the Jewish people, they did not want the Gentiles in their area. Uh, and since the Jews are God's chosen people, uh, the Gentiles were thought to be unholy. So the wall of partition was a wall of separation or a wall of segregation. Uh, it was to keep the Gentiles out. When Jesus died on the cross, it tore down this wall of separation. It tore down this wall of partition. Ephesians 2.14, let's read that again. It says, For he, Jesus, is our peace, who hath made both one and hath broken down the middle wall of partition between us, having abolished in his flesh the enmity, even the law of commandments contained in ordinances, for to make in himself uh, of twain, or two, one new man, so making peace. So in other words, uh, listen, there's no longer two, but there is one. If you're either in Christ or you're not. Uh, and so the only way to God the Father is through the Son, Jesus Christ. So what does this mean for us? Well, I can tell you I'm excited about this because I'm a Gentile. And I praise God that I have access to God the Father through Jesus Christ. Uh, we also need to understand that according to this passage of Scripture, we are all equal in the eyes of God. Every single person is equal in the eyes of God. So what should we do? We, as believers, we should view all people the same. Uh, there can be no racism or prejudice in the heart of the child of God. And so we, as believers, we need to tell everyone that Jesus died to save them. There is room in the family for them too. Uh, we sing that old song, there's room at the cross for you. Uh, there is room at the cross for everyone, no matter where they come from, uh, no matter who they are. Jesus died to save them. Uh, I'm reminded of another old song that uh, I love very dearly. Uh, and it's, uh, it's an old Gaither song. And uh, it goes like this. You will notice we say brother and sister around here. It's because we're a family, and these folks are so dear. When one has a heartache, 
We all share the tears and rejoice in each victory in this family so dear. I'm so glad I'm a part of the family of God. I've been washed in the fountain, cleansed by his blood. Join heirs with Jesus as we travel this sod. For I'm part of the family, the family of God. Listen to this verse. From the door of an orphanage to the house of the king, I'm no longer an outcast, a new song I sing. From rags unto riches, from the weak to the strong, I'm not worthy to be here, but praise God I belong. I'm so glad I'm a part of the family of God. I've been washed in the fountain and cleansed by his blood. Join heirs with Jesus as we travel this sod. I'm so glad I'm in the family, the family of God. So, dear gracious God, so glad and so thankful that I can be called the child of yours, that I'm in your family. And it's only because of what Jesus did on the cross of Calvary. God, that uh, you love every single human being. You love every single man, woman, boy, and girl, no matter where they come from, no matter what the color of their skin, no matter what others might think of them, you still love them. And that you sent Jesus to die in their place so that they could have a part in your family. They could become a child of yours. And God, if there's somebody that's watching today uh, that has never called on Jesus, God, I, pr- I hope that they realize they're, they're not a part of the family yet, but they can be. And they can be forgiven of all their sin. Uh, and they can become a child of yours if they would just call out to Jesus and ask him to come into their heart and to forgive them and to save them. It's in Jesus' precious name we ask these things today. Amen.